Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat, if you didn't know that, now you know that. So, I'm so sorry for not posting a video in so long. I've literally just been slacking so much. I've been struggling to come up with ideas to film. I'm still kind of trying to figure out my niche for this channel, but I know it. I don't want it to just be one niche because I'm into a lot of different things, so it would be extremely hard for me to find just one topic to make videos about, so it's gonna be a bunch of different things, a bunch of random things, which I know isn't very popular in the YouTube community. Usually it's just one niche per channel, but hey, I'm different, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I think I'm just gonna have this channel be all about like lifestyle, fitness, health, uh, technology, food, just everything that I'm into, a little bit of everything, you know, nothing wrong with that, so anyway. No more excuses. I promise I'll be more consistent with uploading. I already have some awesome video ideas that I'm so excited to film, including today's video, which is a top 10 fitness must-haves. And yeah, these are just like 10 things that I personally are things that I could not live without when it comes to fitness. So yeah, it's kind of a bunch of random things. Some of them are clothes, some of them are food, some of them are just like accessories, but these are just, the top 10 things that I think I need when it comes to fitness and health. So I'm excited to share them with you guys. And yeah, let's just get right into it. What's on my phone? The first thing is pretty obvious, but it's a water bottle. The water bottle that I have is Contigo, Contigo water bottle. I got it for like $10 at Walmart, I think. Super cheap, but, but an amazing water bottle. I love it so freaking much. I use it every day, cause you gotta drink your water when you're on a fitness journey, fitness weight loss journey. The thing I like most about this water bottle is that it has a straw, so you can just like click this button and then just drink your water because personally I don't like when you have to like lift your water bottle up to drink water so I prefer to just have a, a straw in it I know kind of picky first world problems but I just love water bottles with straws the second thing on my list is PB fit if you're a huge peanut butter lover like me you should probably know that regular peanut butter isn't the best source of protein and isn't like it's not super bad for you but it's not great for you but PB Fit, on the other hand, is amazing for you. It has eight grams of protein per serving, which is amazing. I think regular peanut butter only has like one or two. I'm not sure though. But anyway, PB Fit is basically a powder. As you can see, I've used like almost all of it. I need to get more. But it's basically the powder that you mix with water and it turns into peanut butter. And I mean, obviously it doesn't taste exactly like peanut butter, but it's very, very close and it's good enough for me. So I'm sure it'll be good enough for you too if you love peanut butter. And I think they also have like almond butter versions of these. I'm not sure, but I like the PB Fit one. I just got this like big thing of it cause I use it a lot, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's 70 calories for two tablespoons. So you just, uh, measure out two tablespoons of the powder and then you mix in water and it's five grams of carbs if you care about carbs and eight grams of protein like I said I mostly just look at calories and protein because that's like the main important thing in fitness and weight loss and stuff so yeah that's definitely something that I need the third thing are a good pair of headphones the ones I have are the Beats Solo 3's they're wireless and they look like this it's the pink uh, rose gold version I've had these for a while I actually used to have this exact same pair a few years ago but they actually broke while I was working out I was so devastated it was horrible so I just got the exact same pair because I love them so much and I use these to work out like all the time. They fit very nicely. They're super good with noise, with noise cancellation, so if that's a big factor for you in headphones, these are great. Um, Cause I used to work out with AirPods and honestly AirPods are horrible for working out. I don't know how people work out with AirPods because like the noise cancellation is horrible. Like you'll hear everything around you, even on full volume. Like I don't understand. I don't know about the new ones. I'm talking about the old ones. I'm sure the AirPod Pros are probably better. Probably not as good as Beats though, but yeah, I don't know how people work out with like regular AirPods. I can't like, anyway. Um, 
So this is my headphones, and then the fourth thing is a clothing item, and it's just a sports bra. This is the one I have. Obviously, I have a bunch of different ones, but this one is from Champion. It works really well. I got it a few years ago, and yeah, I just, I definitely need a sports bra for when I'm working out because, you know, I'm a little bit bigger in the chest area, so don't want the girls flopping around too much when I'm working out, if you know what I mean, so. Yeah, sports bras are a must have for me, and I love this one. I also have some Nike ones, but this is just the one I have to show. It's actually kind of dirty, which is gross, and I shouldn't be really be holding it this close to my face because it smells really bad. <laughs> anyway, the fifth thing is a good pair of sneakers, and these ones I have are the Nike Dual Tone Racer shoes. I love these so much. They're amazing for working out. They're uh, technically running shoes, which I do use them for running on the treadmill, but you know, obviously you can use them for any type of workout. So yeah, I like these a lot. They go with a lot of different workout outfits. They go with pretty much any workout outfit, so they're very versatile. You can style them however you want. The only thing I'd say with these, I feel like a lot of people have these. Um, I would say get good socks to wear with these because one time I was dumb and wore these without socks. The uh, back part of the shoe, like the ankle part, was like rubbing against my ankle and it hurt really bad. It left like a bruise on it. So just make sure you always wear socks with these. Um, because that hurt really bad, so it can be really uncomfortable if the back of the shoe brushes up against your ankle too much. Oof, learned that the hard way. Not doing that again. Okay, so the sixth thing is something I recently started using in my workout plan, and it's pre-workout or caffeine. You can just use, like, coffee as caffeine if you don't want to get, like, a pre-workout. But I recently started using pre-workout before my workouts, and this is the Alani pre-workout. It's so yummy. You basically just put it, put a scoop of it in your water, shake it up and drink it like a 20 to 30 minutes before your workout. Sometimes I'll do an hour just because I feel like it takes longer for me, me for some reason. But yeah, uh, pre-workout works really good. You can also just drink coffee. Um, I've done that before too. It works just as good, I would say. I love coffee, so if you don't like coffee, you can use pre-workout or you can just use coffee or pre-workout or whatever, but this is the one I recommend. It has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is a lot. Um, so it's good, and I think coffee has even more. I see. I feel like I've seen most pre-workouts have less than 200 milligrams. Like I've seen like 175, 130, like that amount. Um, but I feel like I need more than that, so that's why I thought this one would be better. But yeah, so I definitely recommend that. You definitely don't need pre-workout or caffeine or anything before you work out. I just feel like it helps me a lot. And the seventh thing is a scale or measuring tape. A lot of people don't like using scales and I completely understand that, but I personally like using a scale. Obviously, I don't weigh myself every day. I usually weigh myself like once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, something like that. Definitely no, not more often than once a week, so. Yeah, because it's kind of unhealthy, but I like having a scale. It just helps me track my progress. Um, I know it's not very healthy to have a scale and only we're not only rely on the numbers on the scale, but that's also why I have measuring tape, so I'll measure like my waist and my legs and my arms every month or so. So that's really good too, but you definitely don't need a scale. That's totally up to you, but I personally like having one, and I actually got this one recently because I had a fit index one before and it broke after like a year so i would not recommend fit index for a scale just heads up so the new one i got is a renfo scale it's like this black scale it looks more gray on camera but it's black and yeah i love it so much it's a lot bigger <laughs> than my other one so i'm like trying to get used to it but it works really good it's a smart scale so it also tracks like body fat percentage muscle mass uh, water intake, or, uh, water, something with water, but anyway, it tracks a lot of different things other than just your weight, that's why I love it, and I like using it to track my progress. And the next thing, number eight, is a food scale. I love using a food scale, this one's really dirty, <laughs> but I got this on Amazon for, like, ten bucks, maybe, five or ten bucks, and I use it to weigh all my food before I eat it. It's really helpful with tracking calories and all that, so I highly recommend. And yeah, just, you can change the unit on it too. You just turn it on and then put your food on and then you're good to go. You can change the unit, you can do grams, pounds, uh, milligrams, 
a bunch of different ones, so love that. And the ninth thing I have on my list is workout pants. And I put pants in general just because depending on the time of year, it could be leggings, it could be shorts, it could be biker shorts. So I mostly work out in leggings, but since it's summer, I'm working out in shorts more often. And the shorts I have to show are just these Nike ones that I got forever ago. They're a little big on me now, but they're just these Nike ones with this like pink and purple uh, stripe on the side, which is really cute. So I love working out in these. They're great. And yeah, I can't really work out in leggings right now because I got my belly button pierced recently and I'm not allowed to wear high-waisted things and all my leggings are high-waisted. So <laughs> yeah, I gotta stick to shorts for now, but eventually I will work out in leggings again. And last but not least, this one's mostly for girls or I guess guys with long hair. And it's kind of silly, but a hair tie. <laughs> Um, obviously you guys know what a hair tie looks like, I don't need to show that, but I just feel like it's so hard to work out when my hair is in my face, so I just like to pull it back and I always make sure to have an extra one just in case, because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like hair ties can break so easily, it's ridiculous depending on, you know, which hair ties you use, but... Yeah, so definitely a hair tie. I also have scrunchies. I don't know if you can see them back there, but I have like a pile of scrunchies back there. So definitely just something to tie your hair back because working out with hair in your face is not ideal. So yeah, but anyway, that's it for this video. That's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned some new things to add to your fitness routine possibly. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smile and have a great day. Just pull me a little closer, oh we romantic